Thank you for the sympathy. There's none. Oh, thank you for understanding the consequences of your actions. Oh wait, you didn't. Okay. You okay? No, there was a deer crossing the street. Okay, you the only one in the car? Yeah, I just called my mother to come pick me up. Okay. Um, you alright? You want an ambulance to come check you out or anything? No, like that? I'm I'm fine. There was a deer that just ran right across the road. Okay. Alright. You the owner of the car? No, it's my stepfather. Okay. I'm fine. I was trying to swerve out of the way of it, which I know I'm not All supposed right, to do, but did you turn off the yeah, obviously? I didn't want to hit it, yeah. I mean, I feel like it might have been worse if I hit it. Alright. Do you have your driver's license? Yeah, I do. Now, I, I don't want to be a spoil sport to your party here, lady, but that damage seems like a lot more than there should be if you were going the speed limit. I'm sorry. And proof and transfer for the vehicle. Um, it's probably the glove box, I can look for it. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. What's up? What'd you say? I just heard your draft check, that's my stepfather. Where are you calling from? What do you mean? Where are you coming from? I'm going home. Where are you coming from? I didn't ask where you're going. My father's house to my stepfather's house. Okay. You sure you're okay? You don't want to get an ambulance check you out or anything? I'm fine. Okay. Where are you coming from? My dad's house to my mom's house. Okay. Do you have any drinks at your dad's mm -hmm. house? No? Okay. Because you smell like alcohol, okay? I'm getting some alcohol coming off your breath, dad's house. okay? Okay, where where were you drinking at then? With a friend. With a friend? How many drinks do you have? Two. Okay. Alright. Um well, were they really huge containers with booze in there? Because having two drinks doesn't make you reek of alcohol that the officer can actually smell you from a few meters away. Or someone's food. I, I don't know. I'm gonna ask you to perform some SFSTs, okay? Feel sobriety tests. Can I wait to for my sure mother to show up? What's that? Can I wait for my mom to come? Why? Was she the one driving and then got away? I mean, you were able to go boozing. That means you're 21 plus. Why do you need your mommy? For what purpose, ma'am? Just to do that. Uh, well, I'm gonna need to run him through, through you now, okay? Yeah, we're not gonna wait for mom. Alright, so what I want you to do is come on up here for me. Why does my mom have to come? You're an adult. Well, I submit to you, officer, and that is up for debate. Now, now I gotta find some music again, huh? Stupid dance of sobriety. It's funny, but it's tedious. Making me do work and shit. We don't have to wait for your mom. Yeah. Why? Because you're an adult, we don't have to. But could you? No. no. We're not gonna stand out here all night. Why? <laughs> and here we have exhibit A for her not being an adult. That's what a four-year-old does. Why? So you could do them or not, but if you don't do them, just going to arrest you. They advise they just send a flatbed out for why? Because you're smoking alcohol. For 500. Hey, my officer here. Do you want to wait? He doesn't know how long it's going to be, so I just go to the next one. Keep her over here for a second. I'm going to move so there's no gravel or nothing. What are you looking at? Your car. That's not good right now. Really? It looks fine to me. I mean, you can't park there, mate. But other than that, that is really strange. Conclusion. So, shouldn't you say, why? I mean, we were on a roll. Yeah. Alright, Lauren, come on over here by my car for me. I would like to wait for my mother. We're not waiting for we're not, we're, Sorry, we're not going to wait for your mother, okay? So, what I'm going to ask is, we're just going to do a, some three small little tests here, and then we'll make a determination on what we're going to do, okay? We'll let your mom know everything when she gets here, what's going on, okay? Okay. All right, so what I need you to do is stay on this line, face me, okay? All right, give me a moment here. Here's why did you do it by Everett Almond from the audio library. Now, in case you're wondering, any music I use comes from there, and it's always credited in the description. Here we go with the dance of sobriety. Okay. All right, feet together, hands down at your side. All right, mind taking your hat off for me? Um, where do you put that? Just hold it down, hold it down on your side right there, okay? Hands down on your side, okay? You, you wearing contacts right now or anything? No. Okay. Do you have any issues with your eyes? Any stigmatisms, anything like that? Not Doctor? that I know of. Okay. All right. 
So what I want you to do, see the tip of my pen here? Mm -hmm. Just with your eyes and your eyes only, I want you to follow the tip of the pen, okay? Don't okay. move your head side to side or anything like that, okay? Officer, she's not looking at it. She's look looking at something else. Can you look at the tip of the pen here? Tip of the pen. Like where your finger is? Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. No, not, not where the tip of the finger is and the tip of the pen. It's the other pen on the other side of the road. What the fuck are you doing? With your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Don't move your head. Sorry, you did not make that clear. You're an idiot! Surgeries, <laughs> any prosthetics, anything like that? No, but I've recently been tested for autism, okay. so I have trouble... And ADHD, so I have trouble seeing still. I'm starting okay. law school in the fall, so I cannot really... Okay, all right. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and begin. Thank you for the sympathy. There's none. I could never do that for you. Okay. Try your best, and you gotta also count out loud, remember, okay? Yeah, I heard you, but I okay. am telling you already I can't do that. Okay. So you, you wanna skip this one? Is that what you're asking? What else do you want me to do? Okay. All right. Like, this mm -hmm. one is physically impossible for certain people. I understand. That's why I'm asking do you. Do you understand? Do you have a doctor's note? I mean, maybe you can skip gym class here. Okay. We're not going to get belligerent now, all right? I'm not having a problem. I just think this okay. is one that you cannot ask everybody to do. Okay. All right. Well, state and country says that these are tests that are being able to perform by any normal human being. Yeah, and okay? we're also in the middle of nowhere. Oh, whose fault is that? You crashed the car with an alleged deer crossing the road. So sounds like a lot of excuses. May I ask <laughs> why? Next thing you're gonna tell us you can't do a breathalyzer test. But hey, welcome to the consequences of your action. I find this the, the sobriety dance of dipshittery a bit uh, lackluster to be quite honest. Can't you do some more stupid stuff? And I'm not talking about with your mouth. And with that I mean talking. Okay. Do you want to do the last one? It's a walk and turn. Do you want to do that or do you want to refuse to take that one? What do you want me to do with that one? Well, I'm asking you if you'd like to do it. What does it require? Okay, you require. I'm gonna. I'll show you if you want to take that. Like one, me okay? not freezing my ass off right now. Me not walking. Like it's nine steps. Like, what do you want from me right now? How dare you, officer? Are you asking her to walk? I'm pretty sure she's gonna come up with an excuse for that as well because it's cold. Even though she walked over here from her car and also to her car to drive it off the road. I mean, is there an end goal? Because it sounds stupid and rather made up. I'm asking you if you'd like to perform the last... The I would like someone who's not so hostile to ask me what I want to do right now. She's not being hostile at all. Well, don't you know, officer? You can't exist in her presence. How very dare you? So, if you don't want to do this last driving test, home. that's fine. Something was in the road. It was an animal that I did not want to hit. And now I'm, I'm being asked to do something that I am waiting for my mother to show up to do because you, I'm honestly having a panic attack. Your mom's not going to show up, okay? If you don't want to do this last test, that is fine. However, we are going to arrest you for OVI. You just said my mom's not going to show up? We, we don't care if your mom shows up. You're an adult. We're not waiting for your mom. What about my hat? All right. All right, let me see your hat and your phone here. Okay? <clears throat> Keep this for the tow company. Let me see your phone, please. All right, Lawrence, put your hands behind your back for me, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. What you doing? Right now, you're going to be placed under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? I didn't refuse the last test. Oh, you, you were going to do the test? Or, or now stay with me here, where you're going to waste more police time. I did not refuse the last test. <laughs> Well, you'll get a chance to blow into our breathalyzer back at the station if you'd like. Uh, this officer is going to read you some paperwork and we'll go over some stuff. So he was calling my mother to tell her. Let me tell her. Should be a We're going to let you make a phone call. We'll, we'll talk to mom, let her know what's going on, okay? Do I have to be called for this? You're under arrest right now, so yes, unfortunately you do. I'm sorry. Uncertifying door slam.
But yeah, guess guess whose fault that is that, that you're now being arrested. It's it's a real simple equation. It has to do with you doing a dumb, doubling down on the dumb, and here's the consequences of your actions. It's real simple, but apparently it's higher math for these people. Hi. Hi, mom. Hi. Hi, hi mom. <laughs> you sarcastic git. All right, so okay. she's fine. Um, oh obviously, God. she's had some drinks tonight. Oh my God! So um, she's been tested, a field tested here for for field sobriety, which she she did not pass. So right now she's under arrest for OVI. OVI, DUI, DWI, OMVI. What's the difference? Absolutely nothing. But they all end up in one of two ways. A deadly crash, or an arrest. Or a combination of the two. Stupid dick flutes whistling along, drunk behind the wheel of a car. Why do people drink and drive? I mean, stupid people exist, but why would you do that? Is it something about laziness or cockiness? A combination of both, fueled by pure arrogance? And of course, fighting against the system, man? Or why don't you crash into a tree? Let's see what the tree thinks about it. Disgusting shits. Not to mention if that happens, there are still people getting traumatized by having to remove you from the road, for lack of better words. Um, she's going back to the station now to do some little, some paperwork, but she'll be released tonight, as long as uh, you can come by and pick her up. It's like right down the road. So what's going to happen now? She'll have a court day come Tuesday. Um, you know, she's not going to go to jail or anything like that. You know, she'll be released to you tonight. Um, with her car. Uh, Where is she? We have a tow truck coming. She just yeah. She, she's in, she's in that she's car. She's in the car right there. Yeah. Going back to the station. We have some paperwork and stuff to do. Okay. Where's the station? So uh, you can follow me. It's yeah. right down the road. Okay. And then uh, it's about a half hour, forty five minutes of paperwork, and then she'll go with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, just follow me. Okay. That was not an answer to my question. <laughs> What can we answer for you? What's happening right now? Where's my mother? Your mother's in the lobby. Can she come back here? She cannot. Why? Because you are under arrest. Why? Because you had too many drinks tonight and crashed her car. Why? Well, let me explain that to you, princess. You thought it would be cool to put some alcohol down your gob, get behind the wheel of a car, and then swerve off the road. It's interesting you didn't ask why for that question, because you know the answer. You're too stupid for words, and afraid of those words. But to be fair, for a four-year-old driving a car, you did a fairly decent job. What the hell, man? Why? Really? Because there was a deer in the road. Doesn't matter if there's a deer in the road, you still had too many drinks and crashed your car. So if I did it without drinking, it would have been fine? Like if I... Yeah, if you did it without drinking, it would have been fine. So what would have done then? Um, you would have just got your car towed and went home, but because... No, because my car wasn't working, actually. That's why I said you would have got your car towed and went home, but because you're drinking and you're drunk, you're under arrest. <clears throat> why even have a conversation with drunk people? <laughs> I mean, they think they sound so smart. They should be forced to watch their own damn videos. Great. Lauren, what's a good phone number for you? Why are you being like this? A question we have been asking for the last 20 to 30 years. What happened to our 20 year olds? I'm not being like I that. understand you're upset, okay? But you have to own up to what you did tonight, okay? You made a little mistake, okay? What did I do? You were drinking and you crashed your vehicle. We already been over this. Good thing you so why don't you just there. answer my question so we can get you out of here and you can go be with mommy, okay? If I'm not gonna go be like anything. I'm gonna be on the streets tonight. Do you think she's gonna let me go home? Well, if you use your ears for listening instead of waiting for someone to stop talking, you would have heard that mommy is gonna, you know, drive you home. The only problem is mommy is not gonna slap you upside the head to teach you a lesson. Because holy hell, lady. And I use the term lightly, lady. Let me rephrase that. You dumb broad. She's here to pick you up. That's really funny. Thank you. I know she's here. I'm not going home after this. Okay. I don't exactly know what you're on about. Uh, this is not a hotel. You're not gonna stay overnight when the officer says you gotta get the fuck out. And guess what? You gotta get the fuck out. Now, it would be a lot better if you were put in a jail to sleep it off. But no, you're gonna get home to mommy and daddy and they're gonna cuddle you like they've done your whole life. Do you feel the disgust in my voice? 
good. That's, well, really that's something that you and Mom could talk about. You're 22. Now, guess what, everyone? She also refused the breathalyzer test. And another one that did not learn their lesson. She's gonna do this again, and again, and again, until Mr. Tree steps in and puts an end to this. Well, I say Mr. Tree steps in, but he actually doesn't want to be part of this entire situation. They tend to be victims of idiots like this. Bye bye She sounded like the Terminator trying to learn. Why? Why? And in a way, if she keeps this up, she's gonna be a killing machine as well. Can she come back here? She cannot. Why? Because you are under arrest. Why? Because you had too many drinks tonight and crashed your car. Why? 